Hello beautiful caterpillars and today we are doing a haul kind of the things that I have bought in the last um, month or so kind of ish. I know I have a new haul coming up recently but it's been backlogged and I just haven't had time because it's almost exams and I'm probably going to have a lot of videos of me back in my room here but I'll be back home soon so they're just pre-recorded because I was trying to record things for during when I was in school but I just didn't have a chance to edit them and upload them and stuff so I've been really behind so I'll be trying hopefully for the summer I'll maybe get back on track with the video so let's hope. So I have kind of no particular order I guess I will start from the stuff that I got from shoppers. I did make an online purchase at the beauty boutique and I redeemed my points for this stuff and I had like a $10 off coupon for that stuff so I am very very excited as to what I got. It's in like this cute little box. No one wants to hear about the samplers I got. The only person that's excited about that is me probably. So the first thing I picked up was the Benefit the Professionals um, Pro Balm to minimize the appearance of pores. Everyone has been raving about this and I tried a little sample from Sephora and it was amazing. It's not like silicone-y like um, type like the photo fo uh, Smashbox Photo Focus one is, but it is really really nice and I really like it. It's not silly out like it's not silicone-y. I really like it. I recommend trying a sample of it first um, to see if you like it before you go and buy the full size because this guy is like forty two dollars. <laughs> but I redeemed my points on it, so it's all good and it's not very. Like it's a decent size, but I'm like, ooh. <laughs> so this is not going to be used all over my face. That's 100% sure. And I also picked up, um, already my points for the Benefit Dandelion um, blush. This is so pretty. <gasps> look at it. I think it's gonna look gorgeous. And it comes with like a little nice brush, um, which I'm really excited about. I'm just gonna stick that back in there because I have other blushes that I want to use up first before I use this one but apparently this one's supposed to be really good and I picked up the Clarins um, instant light lip comforting oil which is supposed to enhance and nutrients the um, lip oil I don't think it has anything that's supposed to dry out your lips which is really exciting it's I got in the shade raspberry and I'm super super excited to try this and I'll let you guys know um, how I feel about it but it's like a pink berry color and they just came out with some new shades too and I am super excited the candy one sounds amazing Oops. Mm, that smells so good it's got like a giant topper I cannot wait to use this lip oil and let you guys know how my lips are because my lips are always super dry so For the samples that I got I got the philosophy renewed hope in a jar moisturizer and then renewed hope in the jar so the overnight one so I think this is the day one and this is the night one I really like the renewed hope in the jar ones they're really nice but they're like I think 60 bucks or something for like a little jar and I'm like nope can't justify buying that but they're really nice so I do like it when I get a sample of them and this is the Chloe Fleur de Perfume which I always really like little perfume samples I like to put them in my purse or my travel bag and spray them with me let's see what this one smells like kind of citrusy not um the hugest fan it kind of reminds me slightly of like Mr. Clean citrusy Mr. you know kind of like Mr. Clean mixed with uh, no it doesn't say what the nodes are does it no just like Mr. Mr. Clean mixed with it says a flowerly brand revealing a tender rose heart kind of like Mr. Clean mixed with your garden scent flowery scent and then I got the Philosophy, the Micro Deliver Exfoliating Facial, wa facial Wash. The Daily Eating Exfoliating Facial Wash samples. I'm super excited to try that as well. And I picked up from shoppers are these Next Care Acne Absorbing Covers. Um, I've seen someone else talking about something similar to these. They're like spots, like you put them over your acne spots and stuff and they're supposed to like help 
get rid of them within like a day or so I've got one on my neck right now so if you can see that that's what that is there's a beastie under that so I'll let you guys know how it works I tried it on my night my face last night and it didn't really do a whole lot um, so we'll see. I may not buy this exact brand next time, but I am on the hunt for some ones. If you can, if you use something like this, um, the acne spot, like cover things, they're supposed to get rid of, rid of zits right away. Let me know if there are any good ones that aren't like ridiculously expensive. So, I will let you guys know about that one. I picked up the NYX, um, taupe eyeshadow because it's supposed to be a really good, um, Bro not bronzer contour color for pale people I've heard this is supposed to be a really oh it's got a cute little bow on the end of it oh that's so cute I don't know if you guys can see that but oh, this looks amazing so I'll try this out and let you guys know if I think it's good for pale people because I always get it I always like some of the ones I have are like too um bronzy to yellowy to orangey of a orangey that's it so too orangey of a color for me and I need kind of more of a darker um bronzy color so yeah I've heard that one's been supposed to be good for pale people okay um so I guess we can stick with like since we're still on the high-end brand my boyfriend's mom gave me this Clinique makeup bag and I went home recently for the weekend so I used this for my brushes and it was amazing because it's nice and long and it's like super flowery but she also recently went to Clinique because she didn't want it um, and she got me this big bag of samples and stuff I think I hope she didn't have to pay for this I think it was like a sample promotion or something but she got two of them I think because she there's double in here so there's the Clinique Moisture Surge which is extended thirst relief gel cream which sounds very exciting because I do have really thirsty skin and these are like cute little travel size and I'm super excited to try these. Um, the next ones it comes with the rinse off foaming cleanser which I'm not the hugest fan of foaming cleansers so we'll have to see how this is. If I like it I'll keep it. If I don't I'll probably pass it along to my friend. Maybe she'll like them. I don't know because I'm not a huge fan of foaming cleansers. <laughs> I already had a sample size of this guy but um, she got me two or it came with two chubby lash um, mascaras so I already have a little sample size of this guy anyways. I got it in a box for Christmas with like a whole bunch of other ones to try. So I'm excited to try these soon. I will finish my other mascara and I'll work on those. But I don't know if she had to like pay for this, but she got me both. I don't know how she did that. Maybe she spent like a certain amount of money and you can get this and they gave it to her both of them. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but it comes with like the packaging is super cute. It's got a little mirror and it's got these beautifully gorgeous um, eyeshadows. This one is in 03 Morning Java and 22 Ballet Flats and then there's the 15 Smoldering Plum. So I think this is Morning Java, this is 22 Ballet Flat and this is 15 Smoldering Plum. I will swatch these for you guys. There you go on my hand, you kind of see them. Morning Java, Ballet Flat, and then the blush is down there. I don't know if you can see that. But that one is super pretty. And then the next one is All About Shadow Duo. It's 01 Mink, and then there's Sunset Glow is the blush. So I'm not sure which is which, but there you go. I'll swatch these on my other hand. Ooh, that is so creamy. Oh, I love these. I'm super excited to try these. These blushes almost look identical, but there you go. There's it swatched on my hand. Kind of similar to what I have here. But there we go. Very, very gorgeous and like perfect to like just stick in your makeup bag or your travel bag. And I really like the fun, funky packaging and stuff. And then it came in a makeup bag. I was really surprised and really thankful that she got this for me. It was very sweet of her. And then I got a dramatically different moisturizing lotion. It says 
dry to dry combination which sounds very good because I do have dry combinations to oily skin <laughs> like my skin is like combo it's like gets dry and oily it's like it's just really oily, not really oily but it's oily but it's also very super dry so yes I'm very excited to use this and then she got me the two Clinique lipsticks one is in watermelon and one is in ginger flower this watermelon shade looks so pretty same with the ginger flower as well they just look super gorgeous and I'm excited to wear these I've never had like an expensive Clinique lipstick before so there they are there's a uh, wildflower watermelon is a pink one watermelon and then ginger flower is that one very very pretty I hope I keep looking at the view <laughs> the camera I notice when I film a lot I'm like looking down and I'm like this is so annoying and you try to keep looking there. but this is this really cute little watermelon with oranges and lemons I think it's a super cute little makeup bag so that was super exciting I was very thankful that she got those for me it's very sweet of her so now on to the drugstore things that I got mainly all from Walmart yes all from Walmart so, I picked up another um, Hard Candy Sheer Envy Hydrating Primer Mist. I love this stuff. I think it works really well um, to hydrate my skin. It's got coconut water infused and it's just really nice. And it's $10 and I dropped it on the floor. So. Top Jenna. I'm not sure if I showed this in my last haul or not, but I picked up the Pantene Pro-V um, Overnight Miracle Repair Serum. It says helps erase damage while you sleep. I put this on my hair when it was dry and I didn't really like it, so I may try it um, when I use it on wet hair tonight when I wash my hair and see how that works. But yeah, I'll let you guys know, probably in an empty video, what I thought of it. I picked up the Wet n Wild um, correcting, coverall correcting palette because um, I've seen other people talk about these ones and it seems to be kind of good so I was like hey why not I'll try this out and let you guys know what I think of it. I picked up a Hard Candy Prismatic Highlighter. It says it's an iridescent effect on the skin and it's like a pinky white a pinky purpley highlighter which is what I really like I like them to be more white and like pinky and icy kind of shades I find they look best on me than like the bronzier ones they just don't look as nice and I just like the icy pinky um, highlighters on my face more so yeah I also <laughs> picked up a bake uh, elf baked highlighter in moonlight petals that's what this one looks like super pretty I feel like a lot of more people are putting out highlighters now. Highlighters now that it's a big thing, highlighters, and everyone's like, here's a highlighter. So, yeah, I'll let you guys know how I get along with those. Drop things on the floor today. That's my been my life all this week. Is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Double Ended Contour Stick. Like I said, I've been trying to find a contour um, that looks nice, and I kind of wanted to try a... Um, stick contour because sometimes they can be good so and this one looked dark enough so we'll see we'll let you know um picked up a rimmel london match perfection silky loose face powder i saw this recently in the store and i don't know if this is new or not but it's new to me so i'm super excited it is transparent because i am looking for a nice um powder foundation a loose powder i haven't found one that i'm absolutely in love with yet i kind of want to try out some a few ones and test them so yeah, except the other thing is like this is only half full, which kind of sucks because, well, this one was almost full. I've used half of it now. But when I bought this one, this one was like basically to the top here and this one's like only half full. So that's kind of annoying, but whatever. Does it have a sifter? Or is it just a loose powder? Let's go to Bloor Puff. Oh, it does have a, a sifter. This might be nice to actually put the powder on it. We'll have to see. But yeah. I do like some things that are well. I'm excited to try this bad boy out. 
I saw this, this was new too, it's the Garnier Skin Active Moisture Balm. It's a super hydrating sheet mask, provides a deep moisture for instantly softer and more radiant skin. It says it's got pomegranate extract and hyaluronic acid, and it's a tissue mask. So, yeah, I am super excited to try this. I definitely need more hydrating sheet masks. My skin is very dry, and I do find that sheet masks do a really jo good job at hydrating the skin. So I like to use a sheet mask about once a week, every couple weeks, kind of just as like a spa day little thing, the thing, so yeah. I picked up the Hard Candy Sheer Emmer Primer in Perfecting. It minimizes lines and pores for a smooth finish. I really liked um, the blue one I have by this by them. I'm almost out of it. It's for the Controls Shine for Matte Finish. I'm almost done with this, so I was like, here, let's try um, the pore filling in one. Because, you know, I, as much as I love... The professional, it's very expensive, so I kind of want to try and see if I can find something similar to it that I really like. So, yeah, I'm going to try this as well, see how it is. I picked up a Cephalophila Oily Skin Cleanser for acne prone skin. It's supposed to foaming action removes excess oil. I hate foaming cleansers, but my skin has been breaking out like so much recently. And so I was like, here, why don't I try an acne foaming cleanser? <laughs> it was on sale, and I've heard a lot of people talking about it, and a lot of derma people's dermatologists recommending it. I've seen some videos. So I was like, let's try it, see if it works, see if it fix my, fixes my oily skin. Um, we will see. And if not, I will never repurchase it again because my face is just seeming to break out a lot recently and it's all right in my cheek area so I don't know if it's my makeup because I feel like if it was my makeup it'd be all over my face or if it was something, you know, it would be, or if it was part of my makeup it would just be just in the area I use my makeup but it's all just kind of in my cheeks. It's not a lot on my forehead or like even around here. It's not really, it's just all right in my cheeks and it's very annoying and... Yeah, so I thought I would try that and see if it would help. I picked up the e.l.f. Flawless Face Brush. I don't know if I talked about these already or not. I have them written down, so I'm assuming I have not. Um, I think I talked about the next pore filler, I think so. Yeah. Anyways, I picked this bad boy up to kind of do um, contour and stuff. And I also picked up the... Physicians, or not Physicians Formula, the Real Techniques Blush Brush. It seems like it is a nice shape for the Hula Bronzer Brush, which looks amazing, as again, to do contour and stuff, or blush, you know. So, excited to try these out. And then someone else got these um, recently in a um, haul video or something, and they're press-on manicure ones, but I hate doing the press on like the nails where you have to put glue on them because they don't last so I was just wanting to see if these press on nails would last any longer so I just got one because I thought they were super cute and for the summer and stuff to wear them you know because it doesn't require any glue and yeah because my nails like chip after five after a couple days of painting them so you know if these would last longer that would be kind of exciting um so yeah, I'll let you guys know how this works. And I know the big craze is um, the silicone sponge. This is not by Molly. I just ordered this off of Amazon um, after I heard a lot of people talking about how good it was. And I'm still on the fence post about this. I thought it would be good because I was like, if my makeup brushes are causing me acne, this will be good because it's easy to clean and doesn't grow bacteria on it to put on my acne, like put on my mask, my foundation and stuff. But it hasn't been like the best smoothing blending it out, so I'm gonna play with this a little bit more before I give like a final review of what I think how well it works. I have been using it for powder, it works okay. Because I feel like again it's easier to clean, it's easier to wipe off, it's not gonna mess up and gunk up my beauty blender, uh, my be my beauty sponges. I also picked up a whole bunch of those from the dollar store, but I sent them home. Um, because I finally found them again. But 
yeah, I thought this would work for powder because it'll be easier to clean and it clogs my sponges up and they look really gross after a while. So I thought maybe this would be good to also, if it didn't work out for foundation, just use this powder. So yeah, it was like $3, but it took forever to get here. I got lost in the mail at one point. Um, I just shipped for it and it like never came. I emailed the company on the day that I was like the last day I was supposed to get it and they're like we thought you like a week later they're like we thought you already got it and I was like nope I haven't got it so they resent it to me from China which was really nice so it finally came and I'm super excited about that but I also forgot that I picked up this Real Techniques um, shading brush it's a little tiny brush they were on sale for buy one get one 50% off so I picked up this because I really wanted both of these I've had this in my Amazon cart for a really long time and same with this one and I so I completely forgot this I put my tripod away already so I didn't want to feel like taking it out again um, but I got this uh, W7 Color Me Bluff Natural Nudes Eyelash Color Palette it's really pigmented I've only used a couple colors in here but I got it off of Amazon and I was actually really surprised I did find it in Walmart uh, not Walmart winners as well if you live in Canada um, but like the tin looks really like cheaply made and stuff and not very nice but these are actually like really amazingly pigmented and it did come with a brush but it's stuck up at the top here it sits in there but um, it's really nice I've only used it like a couple times but it's really good quality and I love it so my battery is about to die so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I will see you guys later goodbye and beautiful butterflies bye